Oh my god. This is the best Otah I've ever had. Today we are going to go eat top local foods ranked by Singaporeans. There's this survey conducted to find out what Singaporeans love to eat and they rank them. Okay, let's go. 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 Okay, let I want satay, otah, uh, nasi lemak. Okay, this one. Okay, let's open together. Ota, popia. Satay, satay, popia. Ota. And if you all realize, right, all three are not main dish. Eh. Yeah, they're like sides. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you guys. Bye. Yeah, I'm so sad. Bye. I don't want to leave. Hey Rachel, yeah. you know my popia place is at Chinatown. What about yours? Hey, mine is also at Chinatown. <laughs> okay, let's go together. Let's go together. Without Without band. Without band. Bye. So as you can see, I'm alone right now. I'm over at Seng Kang. And you know what? Randy and Rachel, right? They actually went to the same place. Eh. So now I'm just gonna go find my Ota alone. So join me. You know the weather is so hot and I'm just traveling around Singapore to find the best Ota for you guys. So because I picked Popia, right, I'm very happy because Popia is one of my favorite food since young. And now I'm over here and this is like the traditional Popia and I'm gonna go try it out. Yeah. Popia is ready. Okay, my Popia is here. You know like one roll is two dollars but I got two rolls because one roll is always not enough. So two rolls, four dollars. So if you don't know, Popia is originated from Fujian and it's like a Teochew style dish and you can see inside right, got a lot of liao one. So basically Popia is like a spring roll. You know spring roll got two different kinds. One is a fried one and this one is the very traditional kind which I always eat right since young. Okay so now I'm gonna eat satay and you know right, usually every time we take YouTube videos right, our food choices are always set. But this time we're doing something different so we're like picking our food choices. So I'm very happy that I took satay because I love to eat satay. Best food. Okay, so now we're at the satay store. Oh my god, look, they have like pork, chicken, and mutton. Because I don't eat mutton, right? So I think I'm gonna order like five pork and five chicken. And it's only 70 cents. Worth it. Okay, and you look at the store, they also have the Michelin guide in 2019. So I think this satay is good. I can't wait to try. Okay, so now I'm over at the Ota place. It looks really old school and there's like this nice Ota smell. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the Ota is 80 cents each and they have a lot of variety like banana leaf, prawn meat also eh. But prawn meat is more expensive, it's $1.80. Okay, so they are only left with fish meat. So I'm gonna get 10 of them. So initially I wanted to try the banana leaf one because they say it's quite good. But it's sold out already. You know they are really nice. They wanted to grill a fresh batch oh. for me. See? Let's wait for the fresh Ota. Okay, time to try. Come on. The Liao is not really a lot, I see. A lot of Liao. And just now the auntie asked me if I want La Jiao or not. No, of course must add La Jiao. I think in Popia you never add chili, right? I think don't have the flavor. So if you add chili, it'll be more flavorful. Wow, the texture inside, right? Got like soft, soft and crispy, crispy and crunchy, crunchy. Um, I think because there's a lot of Liao inside. So let's take a look at what's inside. So inside, right, there's this most important thing, which is the steamed turnip, which makes the popia, you know, very iconic. And inside, right, there's also like bean sprouts, lettuce, peanuts, also, eh. Thank you, thank you. Wow, looks very good. Let's go. Okay, so my satay is here. And when I first collected, right, the smell, so good. Okay, so I ordered like 10 steaks because like their minimum order is 10. So I ordered like 5 chicken and 5 pork. And look, it comes with like cucumber, onions and very important, the peanut sauce. And of course, I add on like 1 rice ketupat. Okay, so this plate of satay is $7.70. And like one piece of satay is like 70 cents. And the ketupat is an add-on, so it's 70 cents. You know what's so special about this store, right? Is that I think their sauce is not just peanut sauce, they put like pineapple peanut. So it's something special and I'm very excited to try. Because I think satay very important is you must eat with the sauce. Mm. Okay, the satay is very well marinated. And then the meat like, is very tender. What really shocked me like, is the sauce. You know the sauce got this pineapple way tau, like there's this like sweet taste to the peanut. So it complements very well with the satay. It's good. And what I really like about this satay right is that the meat right is so tender that it falls off the stick. So you can see from the stick right, there's no like leftover meat stuck. So this satay, 
It's really yummy. Oh my god, it smells really good eh, now that it's grilling. And I just want to say, right, I really like the vibe here. It feels really old school and they have been around for 30 years. Like, it's a very humble shop that's like opened by like their family. So they have been around since 1986, so it's like even older than me. And as you can see, right, there are no seatings available, so it's like you can only take away. What I want you now, you this one is the best. What is it? Which Ota? This is the normal, spicy. This is fish meat. I just eat this one. Five mouth. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. I heard right, they freshly made their Ota daily one. So, you know, you know, you can Google the review. How much? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to tell you how much. You have 4.3 stars with over 71 reviews. So, it's really high. I'm going to review it. Okay. Okay. Look at this popia. This skin is very soft and it's not very hard. You know, some machine made skin, right? It'll be very hard and dry, but this one tastes very fresh because it's like handmade, you know. So the overall texture when you put inside your mouth, good. You know, the more I eat this skin, right, it's very crispy also. You know, like sometimes the feeling inside is very wet, right, and then it will soak up the skin. Then it will become noir noir, but this one, not noir at all, eh. still very crispy. You know, usually popia, when you pick it up, right, the feeling will all drop out or the skin will break. This one, still very perfect, eh. Look at this. And you know, I saw something. It's actually listed in the Singapore Michelin Guide with a Michelin plate eh. So apparently this is very famous, very lucky to come here today And one fun fact, they have been around since 1940s Wow, way before like my parents were born So normally when I order satay right, I think when they serve the ketupat, the rice ketupat It's usually, uh, they really take out from the leaf So it's quite interesting because they serve it together with the leaf And now I'm going to try, I think most important right, the rice cannot be noir noir If the rice is noir noir, then it won't taste good the fragrance of it is really good, but I think it's a bit on the noir side. Like, I prefer it to be slightly drier. It, I, I feel like I'm just eating soggy rice. So I think for this star, it's definitely the satay. If you notice, right, you see even when they put like the baking paper, you see the amount of oil like left over on the plate, it's not a lot. And I realized that the meat to fat ratio is perfect. Look at the fats and then look at the meat. So for this satay store, right, it has been around for like more than 30 years eh, and it's like known for being one of the largest satay manufacturers in Singapore. So you guys know right, today we'll be like eating different food at different places. So I really wonder like what is, what are Bear and Randy eating? So I really love to eat Ota. So I'm jealous about Bear. I hope his Ota tastes good. This is the green yarn. Okay, this is the green yarn. I'm going to open it. I'm going to eat it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. They want to eat me. I'm sorry. I'll try to, I'll try to pay. How much is it? How much is it? Oh no, they don't want to accept my money. Honestly, you know, I'm really poor how it is because how can I get free ota from them? You know, usually for all these kind of food videos, right? We always will pay ourselves one. So this is the first time, right? They want to sponsor me. So I guess I'll gladly accept it. <laughs> but I will still be very honest with my reviews, okay? So let's try them. So there are two flavors, the spicy one and the non-spicy one. And the non-spicy one, right, is the white meat. Wow, look at this ota. It's like charred. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here to try and I'm gonna try the spicy one first. Oh my god. This is the best Ota I've ever had. This is the best Ota I've ever had. It's really good, not because they give me free, okay? But it's really nice. I like it when the outside of the skin, right? The surface of the skin is a bit charred. It's like not so slimy or soft. This one is grilled perfectly. Maybe it's also because it's freshly made. That's why it's so nice. So good. I think I can eat like 100 of this. But now, I'm gonna try the non-spicy one. So you know like Ota, I usually don't eat non-spicy one. Because Ota, you need eat spicy one that is nice. Oh my god, you see? It's in white color. Wow! Wow, it looks good also, you see? I think the white one, you can see that it's charred. It's charred on the surface. Okay, let's eat. Oh my god, I'm shocked. No, this is also quite nice eh. Initially, I thought right, the non-spicy one will be less flavorful. But this is very tasty and very flavorful. For the non-spicy one, right, you can really taste the fish taste. I think because the spicy one, it will actually cover up, you know, the fish taste. I feel like Randy and Rachel, they are missing out on this. But don't worry, I'll bring back some for them to try. Now I'm done eating my Ota, I'm gonna meet them to let them try. And you know, to see if whether they like their food today. Hey! Okay, so Randy and Rachel is finally here to join me. Hey, how's all your food? Nice! So 
good. Hey, I got a surprise for you guys. You see? Oh my god, Otai. You yeah. for us? So many. <laughs> yeah. So how's your day without me? I heard that y'all went to the same place, eh? Yeah, because like, we don't like to be alone. Yeah. No, but we still eat separately, you know? Yeah. So the food was good, but I was lonely. Missing you guys. <laughs> So today after trying three of the top food that Singaporeans rated, I understand now why they love eating these three food. Yeah, and I can understand why is it top. Uh, and it brings back a lot of like, you know, like yeah. memories. Like no, childhood. Nostalgic memories. Yeah, like childhood memories eh. After doing this video, right, I feel like we should try more of the top local yeah. foods eh. Yeah. Okay, so guys, you know we always film food videos, right? Sometimes we have hit and miss, right? Some food good, some food is like average. average. But today one is so good after hearing the reviews from you guys. I think we should yeah. do this more often. Yeah. I think we should definitely do a part two for this. Yeah, if I you want... guys want us to do a part two of this local food, vote for the dish that you want us to try and yeah. we'll go try it. Maybe like laksa, chicken rice. Nasi okay, so that's all for the video. Remember to subscribe to us and click on the notification bell button so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. And so remember to follow us on our Instagram. Because we'll be sharing a lot of things there. TikTok Because we will be sharing a lot of nice and funny videos And Telegram group Because we will be sharing a lot of behind the scenes videos there And your chit chat with Ben Exclusive Oh yeah, yeah. I, love, I love the chit chat Okay, see you guys in the next video Bye, Bye.